Okay, one of the things I think so many of us struggle with is not saying no immediately. When we are asked to do something that we are either one, not paid to do, two, do not have the resources to do, or three, don't want to do. If someone gives us this opportunity and instantly we think, oh gosh, they're either above me in power or they're thinking highly of me or I like them and don't wanna hurt their feelings, so I gotta figure out how to do this and add this to my plate even though I don't get paid to do it, I don't wanna do it, or I don't have the space or time or resources to do it. When you get that initial ask and you know in your gut it's a no, say no immediately. The longer it sits in your inbox, AKA your brain, the more likely it's to become a yes. So don't say maybe, don't say let me think about it. Say, I'm unable to do this at that time, at right now. And how you do that, the best way that I have found to do this is, I listen to my gut. My gut says it's a no. I don't, this is not my job, or this is not on my job description, or I don't get paid to do this, or this is going to take time for me that to do my actual job, or I don't want to do this because I'm not really, I don't get paid to do it and I don't love to love it. Um, I say, thank you so much for thinking that I could take that on and thinking of me in this way. It's really an honor you thought of me that way. Unfortunately, it does not fit in my current career goals. Thank you. Done. End of conversation. Move on to the next topic. What it does is it saves so much brain space of angst and worry and frustration that you're like stuck in this like, oh, why did they ask me? Now I have to say yes. No, you don't have to say yes. Um, perfect example of this is sometimes you're asked to do something you agree to do and then they add on. So you've agreed to do this task or this role or this job. And all of a sudden you get an email that says, oh, thank you so much for doing this. Now also, can you do this, 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 this? And you're like, oh, what? Now I have to do this. One task has become five tasks, but I only agreed to one or I'm only getting paid for one. This is just a boundary. This is literally just setting boundaries. And instead of being angry at the person for over asking or being frustrated or thinking about this or perseverating about it for two, three, four days or even a week or longer, just instantly reply and say, oh, I'm really honored that you thought that I could do these other three things or that you've asked me to do these things. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit with my resources I'm able to do this year, thank you, period. Don't say I'm sorry. Remember my rule, when someone asks you to do something that you cannot do or that you don't get paid to do and you say I'm sorry, you are saying that you've done something wrong. When in reality, you're just saying, I can't do this, I, I don't have the space or time to do this, but thank you. Right? So it's a thank you. It's a compliment to be asked. It doesn't mean that you have to do it. And so the instant no is so empowering and it's so liberating. And like anything, the more you practice, the better you become. So the more you say no instantly, the more you're going to say no instantly. And then it's not sitting in your inbox. It's not sitting in this inbox. You're not stressing over it and you're more likely to keep it a no instead of it becoming a yes. So don't delay your no.